Otro video para ti hoy este es Aaron y con y de en computers.com. I know, I know that bothers you. I know my accent and the fact that I'm bilingual bothers you goddamn fucking Americans. I know all about you goddamn fucking Americans. I know all about you. I study you on a daily basis. Further computer problems. That's all I deal with all day. But today, oh, it's so nice and warm. It's like mid 80s. It's supposed to get close to 90. I love hot weather. I just love it. And I love being out in the sun. So I was able to get some vitamin D. Well, some people think it's it's actually a hormone. But whatever, I try to go out in the sun at least a half an hour every day. Even if it's two or three times a week, it makes a big difference with your health. Oh, yes. Well, yes, it does. Oh, and then I saw I'll get to I'll get to the problem. I get sick and tired of fucking making videos about problems cuz who likes to talk about problems all day long? You know? I saw a, a huge RV for sale. I should have stopped by and checked it out. It's an older one, probably 20 or 30 years old. However, you can get a really good deal on some of the older RVs. I mean, this fucker was probably 25 to 30 foot. But I have, to, I have to save up enough money because my goal is to live in part-time in either Arizona or California or both. And I might still live in Colorado, but I'm, I'm done with this bullshit. I don't want an office. I don't want to hear this motherfucker, this motherfucker behind me almost every goddamn fucking day. I can hear the motherfucker yelling through two walls and I fucking complain to management that are pale skinned Europeans over a year ago about the motherfucker and they've never dealt with it so I'm just done with cities I'm done with these cheap 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 buildings in America that are not soundproofed and I'm just done I'm done with this shit well the problem with getting an RV is that I want to make sure that it has a generator. You got to make sure everything works before you buy it. Refrigerator, generator. I also want to have solar powered. I want to put a you know solar panels on the top because I want to create as much energy solar powered as much as possible. Because just in case the generator fails, and then you don't because I've studied recreational vehicles. You don't necessarily want to use the motor to power things. Even even a generator, you know, whereas solar powered, oh yes. Or if you have all three, and you can even have capacitors. So it's a lot of work, and then you have to worry about licensing, well, you know, insuring the motherfucker. And so you got to save up, I would say, twice as much as what, in my opinion, twice as much as what you're going to pay for the RV because there, there could be added expenses after the fact. Shit could break down, or, you know, if it, this will be my first RV. Anyways, so to this video, information technology video. Display port to HDMI. Now, I will cut to the chase. I was not able to fix this person's problem. Most likely, I would say 90% to 100% because micro crap, micro slop, wind blows does not necessarily support display port to HDMI cables. They are adapter cables. You can get an adapter cable that will connect a HDMI device to a display port. However, it, since you're a neophyte and you don't know anything, especially about technology, most of you clowns, I had another customer last night. She didn't know what a web browser was. I'm not making this shit up. Well, I don't know if it was a female. I don't know why I got that in my head. I don't even know if it was a female. They, male or female, they did not know what a web browser was. These, I don't understand it. Why do you fucking continue to buy technology and you don't know how to use it? Why buy a computer if you don't even know what a web browser is? They could not download TeamViewer Quick Support. TeamViewer Quick Support is the fucking easiest shit to download. I even... I even give them instructions. I tell them, well, look, click on the link. Select either run or save. Or you can right-click the link and then choose save as. 
pick a folder, save it, download it, double click the team viewer QS.exe. These fucking mental midgets don't even. And then I was like, th- in my opinion, I don't think some of these customers are legitimate. And I might talk about that. I found out that there are claims that the CEO of this company that I earn supplemental income answering computer and technology questions trolls his own technicians and I think it's true because I've read two blog posts and they were lengthy and they had example after example where there are trolls there are either other technicians on this site that will troll new technicians or there's accusations that the chief extortion officer himself is one of the trolls how how is it possible in 2018 not to know what a web browser is when you use a computer every day i i i got so frustrated i was like i typed in do you know what a web browser i could have said i was getting pissed i almost said do you you don't what the fuck are you doing or i was i was so angry that i almost typed in you don't even know what a web browser are you, you mental midget or whatever i typed in do you know what a web browser is and they didn't get angry they didn't, didn't yell at me they didn't get rude and they said no now it's either a troll it's not a legitimate customer or this person does not know what a web browser, I, I don't understand it it's been over 20 years since the first web browser was created over maybe close to 30 or 40 really when you want to get technical because really in information technology a lot of the tools that we are given and we use were actually conceived you know decades before at times I don't know what it is with these goddamn fucking users here's a tip before you ever try to especially with with cables or especially if you don't know something admit it and then research because I was not able to fix this issue and it's most likely because I don't think officially Microsoft supports DisplayPort to HDMI cables in Windows 10 now Microsoft they're very secretive they never admit they're wrong they brainwash you and market to you that Windows 10 is the best productivity item since sliced bread that is a bold face lie that's bullshit I have video after video after video documenting about how many problems Microsoft Windows 10 and my last video in my opinion was my best where I proved to you that there are 10,000 to 100,000 searches each month for Windows 10 start button not working now this is different when you go from technology to technology you have to perform your research as a computer technician I will go down a rabbit hole like this one however I never ever 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 assume that things will work I always here's my philosophy expect the best prepare for the worst you know what I'm saying prepare for a fucking hurricane but wish for a nice sunny day where you get plenty of vitamin D or plenty of sunshine photosynthesis uh, humans need you need sunshine it's actually a mood enhancer and it can fight depression and actually it gives you energy and I could go on and on and on about the hormone or the vitamin D whatever whatever you want to call it hormone vitamin D whatever from the Sun the you know what the best source of vitamin D is the Sun Yes, all you have to do is sit out in the sun for a half. Well, it really depends on your color or lack thereof, but I don't want to digress about that. When it comes to projects like this, if you do not do your own research, if you do not do your due diligence, and you don't learn the lexicon and you don't understand the concepts, well, what is HDMI? Now, HDMI compared to DisplayPort, in my opinion, is a nightmare. Not because it's inferior. In my opinion, DisplayPort and HDMI technologies, I don't know if they're real competitors. I don't I don't get into the competition crap. I don't care. If something works, that's all I care about. I don't give a shit. Well, you know, well it well goddamn it, Aaron, HDMI is classy and DisplayPort is clunky. No, I don't care about that crap. 
I don't even know if there's that much difference between HDMI and DisplayPort when it comes to the quality of the display. They're different. The connectors are different. HDMI, there's different types of HDMI. Now DVI, if you know your computer hardware, if you know your video graphics cards, if you know your video technology, you know what I'm talking about. There was VGA, which is the blue cable with nine pins. That's old school. Then there was DVI, digital video interface. The white, generally they're white cables and they have more pins. They're wider. Well, guess what? DVI, digital video interface, is an ancestor to HDMI. HDMI is a newer version of DVI. Well, but the problem with HDMI is that there's different types of HDMI. Some HDMI cables allow both video and audio to pass through that cable. Some do not. Some it's only video. Some, I could be wrong, but I think some might only be mono audio. And some might be stereo audio. And even the video quality is different with HDMI cables. Even the connectors are different. I'm not making sh this shit up. There's like three or four different physical connectors for HDMI. And then all, and then DVI was like that too. DVI had different connectors, and it wasn't all universal. So you need to become aware of that. Whereas when I studied DisplayPort, there's there's less connectors. It's ba it's more universal. You know what I'm saying? But the, the, there there's that's not absolutist either. But compared to HDMI, and then now now what you're doing is what you're doing is you're connecting from one technology into an, and another one with an adapter cable but that doesn't necessarily mean that Microsoft's going to support it it doesn't mean that Linux will support it and and Apple Macintosh they don't have to support it if they don't want to so the point of this video is really not to you know give you all the troubleshooting steps and so that you can fix it, although it is in my blog post. If you want to try it, I included a lengthy written blog post with my troubleshooting steps. I could not get this cable to work in Microsoft Windows 10. It could be exclusive to Windows 10. I, I performed some research, but I don't have time. No, you can't know everything. It, if you run across a technician that tells you that he knows everything about information technology, that motherfucker is a liar. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And if you notice, I do use adult language. And one of my favorite words or words put together is motherfucker. And if you're offended by that, I don't give a fuck. Your best bet really is if you go down this rabbit hole, be aware. Be aware you you might end up wasting too much time on a project like this whereas study learn like let me give me an example you have you buy you buy a brand new laptop learn everything you can about it take out the manual go to the web the website look it up look up the specifications that's how i learned i'm self taught and the way i learned how to to educate myself about hardware specifications is I just learned how to read them. I would look up a computer or I would look up a monitor and I would literally go to the manufacturer's web page and I would read the specifications even though at the very beginning I was I didn't know everything. I didn't know every protocol and every, you know, peripheral and every connector and so I would have to look shit up. But that's how I learned and I started learning about the hardware even even when I would get a different computer and I would look up the specs so I would know what the computer came with well then once you do that then is when you go shopping because if you don't know what your hardware is limited or you don't know all the connections on on your like in this instance a laptop and then you go out and try to buy an external monitor to hook up to this laptop if you do not know what kind of connections are physical on that laptop and then you just go out and buy any monitor, well, there is no, 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 no. There is no guarantee. Uh-uh. Not in the world order. Well, it's a, it's a paradox. If you look like me or darker, 
you're guaranteed to get oppressed, or in my case, 95% of my ancestors were murdered off, and this continent was stolen. Oh, that you're guaranteed of that, and even in 2018. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But there is no guarantee that you can just buy any peripheral or any external device or any monitor and expect it to work because there's many variables you have to you're dealing with different operating system and so that's my overall I don't give out advice or recommendations that is what I would me personally that's what I do that's I think is the most productive become familiar with the hardware and then that way you then you're like oh it's got HDMI but it only has HDMI oh well you know what let's go let's find an HDMI monitor so this individual I'm not judging I'm not dissing them they bought in a here it's in the blog post they had an idea here I'll write I'll cut to the chase and I'll read what their request was although but they still are probably they could still ask for a refund but I don't think they are because I gave them some now with my customers if they ask for it I'll give them some advice or I'll just throw it out there I don't go around barking out orders like the dumb shit government military always does. No, no, fuck you. Nobody has authority over me. Well, it's a paradox. The system has authority over me, but I don't I don't allow people to just come into my life and start barking orders around. No, 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 no. Unless you have guns. The police have guns. Okay, fine. The military, they've got guns. Okay, that that's the only reason why they get away with the, their authoritative tactics. Anybody else, these Christians and these politicians and these clowns in society, fuck you. Back the, you know, anyways, I don't want to start quoting fucking whatever. I have IdeaPad 330 and an external Think Center monitor. I installed the latest update to Windows 10 and the BIOS basic input output system. IdeaPad still doesn't recognize monitor. Is there a specific driver to install and how do I get it to download and install? Now, when I I researched this a little bit today, just very quick. There may not be technically a driver for an HDMI to display port cable or also known as an adapter. There may not be an official driver from the manufacturer, but operating systems can be designed to support what it's just engineering all they do is they buy a cable or they get one for free or whatever they obtain a cable and then they study it they find out what the specifications are they find out how it's designed the throughput what kind of data can pass through it what kind you know they reverse engineer it and then what they do is then they go to their developers and then they start writing program they start writing code or they even write it into the operating system because the operating system has to support hardware and that includes cables but they have they have to build the operating system to support it it's like you own an Eagle Talon TSI turbo and you've got a Toyota Celica well, you're, you take the, the alternator out of the Toyota Celica and you try to install it in the Eagle Talon TSI. No, 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 motherfucker. Chances, <laughs> chances are, bitch boy, that that's not going to work because the, you know, that alternator was designed specifically for that Toyota Celica. It wasn't necessarily designed for the goddamn Eagle Talon TSI. Okay, so they also were trying to think and install a Think Center TIO 21 and a half inch touch monitor with just a display port. So you have to understand you have to understand what you have in your hands. Oh, I've got an alternator. Oh, okay, it's got this rating, it's got this much voltage and uh, let's see, it's got the model. Oh, I'll just throw it in any cart. No. No. With, especially with computers. You can't just... There is no fucking easy button. Fuck staples. That's the dumbest shit marketing, in my opinion. Well, that's one of the dumbest shit marketing ever created. They're stupid ass, mental midgeted, easy button. Bullshit. 
There is nothing easy in this system. And that, but in my opinion, that's by design. The system is, it's a paradox. They dumb down society because they want you to turn into an idiot and a moron. But then on the other, it's a paradox. On the other end of that paradox, certain aspects of society is extremely convoluted and complex when it shouldn't be. But to, to think that there's an easy button with tech? No. No, there's not. There is not. So you must understand what you have in your hands. Oh, the idea pad. Oh, it's got USB-C. It's got, you know, it's only got HDMI. It doesn't have DisplayPort. Oh, what is HDMI? Oh, what is DisplayPort? Oh, the monitor has DisplayPort. Oh, the monitor has USB 3.0. And that's it. And then, then, but that, you're not done. Oh, what operating system support DisplayPort? What operating system support HDMI? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to go through the troubleshooting. You click on the link in the description box below that will take you to my blog post at my website, anetcomputers.com, where you can go through and you can, you know, have at it. You can make yourself mentally ill. You can just bang your fucking head on a metal filing cabinet until, you know, you pass out. Chances are you are not going to get DisplayPort to HDMI working those adapter cables with, with Windows 10. There is no guarantee. However, things could change into the future. Microsoft could snap out of their trance and support it. Or it just might work. Oh, yes. There, there's an, I have an M-Audio. It's a, basically, it's a, it's, it's a USB mobile preamp it's a preamp see I'm not lazy I learned I learned how to set up my own mixer board I've got a mixer board down there I have it hooked up to my computer I've got this condenser mic I've got that webcam it and so I've got two channels I'm looking at it I learned when I first purchased the mixer board I was like, what the fuck did I get myself into? I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. And it could be just me because I'm an idiot and a moron or ignorant. I don't know. Impatient or I don't know. Mental midgeted. I don't know. When I tried to find like videos and how-to guides and instructions on how to properly hook up a mixer board to a computer, there's really not that much information out there. And even the manufacturers, they don't t necessarily tell you. They just assume that you know how to fucking use a mixer board. Well, you have to do it right. It's basically input to output. You, you, you run the, a cable from the output from the computer and into the input of the mixer board. So with mixer boards, it's, it's input to output. So that's a good rule of thumb. Anyways, I digress back to this. There was something I wanted to go over towards the end. Oh, an M Audio Mobile Pre is probably at least 10 years old. And guess what? I hooked it up to my Windows 10 computer and it worked. And I didn't even load the software or the driver for it and it just worked. Actually, this is strange in my opinion. When I did load the driver for the Mobile Pre and I installed it with compatibility mode since it wasn't it was an older driver and I, there was no way it would support Microsoft Windows 10 guess what it sounded like shit but when I removed the driver and I just let Windows use it yeah as soon as I mic it it was USB now I don't USB sound isn't as good as another advantage to a mixer board is I've studied this the sound is clear clearer it's cleaner and clearer. USB sound isn't as good because you're going through the the universal serial bus. And so sound USB sound isn't as it's not as clean, it's not as clear. So by by you hooking up your computer with the 3.5 millimeter output into input, it's cl cleaner sound.
but the mobile pre worked. I hooked it up, USB, and Windows 10 detected it, and it worked. And then there was another. There, there's been, I think, two. I think the Logitech C920 webcam was not officially supported by Microsoft w with Windows 10. And there was another, there was a TP-Link wi wireless card. Don't interrupt me. I know you're fucking loud, but that doesn't mean that you're going to interrupt me. There was a mo there was a TP Link wireless card that I don't think was officially supported in Microsoft Windows 10. And guess what? It worked. Now, but it's not always absolutist because when I did allow comments on my YouTube channel, a couple of people claimed that they couldn't get that <laughs> they couldn't get that wireless card, the same exact model to work in Windows 10. I got it to work. And so it, I'm not I'm not dissing on them. No, it could be it could be the differences in Windows 10. See, there's different versions of Windows 10 now. You had what 1607 or whatever. Then there was 1709, and then I think the most recent is 1803. And those those could be different as far as you know drivers and and what hardware is supported. So my warning is that you may not be able to get it work, but if you want to try, go ahead. You you'll learn something. You'll learn how to become mentally ill like me. And, but it may work in the future. It just may work. Windows 10 might actually start supporting certain, you know, devices. Adios.